Middlesbrough came from behind twice to down QPR 3-2 at home and moved to within a point of a playoff place. David Wheeler took just two minutes give Rangers an early head start before Lewis Baker leveled the score before the break. The Rs took another lead when Jamie Mackey took advantage of a Boro defensive mix-up. The goals from Ashley Fletcher and Britta Sambalanga seal the three points for Middlesbrough to move them to seventh in the table. Cardiff City managed to salvage a draw with an injury time goal from Solbamba to deny Sheffield Wednesday their third successive win. Just before the break, Carlos Carvalho's side took the lead after Gary Hooper headed a cross from Adam Reach past Cardiff's keeper to give him his fourth goal in as many successive games. Birmingham City suffered their sixth straight defeat after a 3-1 loss against Preston North End, and the firing of Harry Redknapp followed shortly afterwards. Redknapp wasn't the only manager that was in trouble, Sheffield United's Chris Wilder was sent to the stands for kicking the ball at Norwich water bottles as his team were defeated 1-0 after a goal from Yannick Wiljit. Derby County had a hammering after going up 1-0, Bristol City fired back with four goals to take the win. Brentford remain winless in the league so far this season as they recorded a 1-1 draw against Reading with goals from Josh Clark and in Reading equaliser from a penalty by Liam Kelly. Bolton Wanderers also have yet to record a win in league play this season after goals from Cole Scus and David McGoldrick gave Ipswich the 2-0 win. Sunderland and Hall City could only manage a 1-1 draw. James Vaughan scored his first goal for the Black Cats before ex-Sunderland midfielder David Miller leveled with a deflected strike. At the Pirelli Stadium, Stephen Warnock's first goal in more than three years gave Burton Albion the lead, and a penalty from Lucas Akins secured their 2-1 win over Fulham. Leeds United remain at the top of the table on goal difference despite a 1-0 defeat to Millwall, 